Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part and welcome to today's video. Today's video is gonna be about hacks. There's gonna be life hacks in here, home hacks, basically anything to make your life a little bit easier. That's what I'm here for. So we have a whole list to get through today. So if you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and let's jump straight into today's video. Okay, so the very first hack we're gonna talk about has to do with returns. I feel like if you'll take the time to do it, it can save you a ton of money, but it can also cost you a lot of time. So I've tried to put little hacks or routines in a place to make returns easier. So if you're like me, the majority of my shopping is done online, especially when it comes to clothing. I just get really anxious when I'm in stores. There's so much to look at. So like, I'd say like 99% of my clothing, if not 100% is from like online boutiques. But when stuff comes in, it doesn't fit. I don't remember how to turn it. I don't remember if they accept returns. I don't remember like what kind of form you need. So I'm gonna show you what I've done to save myself time and money. Most of the time the returns start here in Chase's office. So I finally learned just to print out the forms from the places that I order the most. Then if I need to come in here and figure out like, do they accept returns? What do they need to know? Because most places will say they don't need this actual form. They just need it written down. Or what I do is I take this, I come in here and I make a copy and then I stick this in my package and I know I'm gonna get my return. Cause if you don't have all the info, sometimes they won't send the product back and they won't give your return. So you have to be super careful. So if you don't like doing returns cause you never know the info you need, just print them off. Typically they're on their like Facebook sites, print it off, keep it in a drawer, and then you have everything you need to do a return when it comes to that time. Now, if you have returns for like a store, it's really good just to keep a system in your house. So keep a laundry basket or a box or a bin, either in your closet, your laundry room. I keep mine out in the garage. And so when I have returns, I just throw everything in it. And typically like Mondays, we're out and about more. And so while I'm out, I can grab that box, put it in my car, and then do any of the returns that are nearby where we're going to be. So you can also just leave that bin in your car. It's probably the smartest thing. So when you have a return, take the time, walk out to your car, put it in the trunk. Then when you're at Target and you have a Target return, you can be like, oh, I have that. Run out, grab it, do the return, and you get money back in your account. This next hack also saves me a ton of time. So I thought it was perfect just kind of going along the theme of hacks that save time. So this one I did a while back. I've been doing this for a long time. It has to do with like laundry and in my closet. So let's head to that side of the house. If you're like me, you are doing laundry all the time and with laundry <laughs> comes socks. So here is a hack that changed my life. I've been doing this for over a year now and I bought all the same kind of sock. I got rid of every sock I owned. I bought a few bags of the same sock. I don't have to match it. I don't have to count them. If one gets lost, I don't even know it. I come in here, I just grab two and I put them on. I will say recently in the last week, I went ahead and bought black. I was trying to see if I like this style better just because white's hard to keep clean, but I highly suggest just one color. If you want to do two, great. You can lay them out flat like this if you want it to look nice and neat. I just basically ball mine up, throw them in here. I have all I need. Do this for every human in your house and you're going to be so thankful. Get rid of all those socks. Get one style per person. Your life is going to be so much easier and so is your laundry day. We're gonna go ahead and stay in this area for the next hack because this is something I've been doing since I was a little bitty girl. <laughs> My mom taught me this. It has saved me so much time during the years, so much stress. Um, I taught my daughter how to do this, but basically if you have somewhere to go the next morning, which most of us do, we have school, we have work, we have different things happening, lay out your outfit the night before. So get on your weather app, see what the weather's gonna be and lay out everything. Lay out your shirt, your pants, your socks, if there's jewelry, purse, that way when you're waking up the next morning, say you have plenty of time or say your alarm doesn't go off, you're not panicking, trying to figure out what to wear, see what the weather is, you can't find your shoes, you can't find your socks, 
take the time and do it the night before and it is going to make your morning so much easier and peaceful. I'll say my daughter even does it with her skincare. She lays it out the night before, she wakes up, she's tired, she's not a huge morning person right off the bat so she can just walk into the bathroom and she has everything lined up. She has her clothing hung up in that bathroom so she can just get ready and not even have to think about it. And this will just save a lot of stress, a lot of tears, especially if you have little ones and you're trying to get them ready for school and you're trying to get ready for work. You're not trying to get yourself ready and the kids ready. Everything's ready to go the night before. Game changer. If you haven't tried this, try it tomorrow morning. You're going to love it. The next hack we're going to talk about has to do with your phone. So one of my most used apps on my phone is the notes. And I know a lot of people don't even use it forever. My daughter was like, can I delete it? And I'm like, no, it is so helpful so useful. So what I love about the notes folder app, it's free. First off, it should come on your iPhone, um, but you can share it. So I have like a shared notes folder with Savannah and it's just for dance. We have all her dance times in it. We have all her comp stuff. If anything changes at dance and I'm not there to know about it, she can change it within the phone in the app section and it notifies me someone has made a change. It'll say Savannah's made a change to the dance section. And then I know to go in there and see like, okay, they changed their tights or oh, she needs this type of shoe or class is starting late. Like we can share that. It is so helpful. Say, Ashley, I don't have a daughter and I don't have one in dance. Maybe it's your family and it's just a grocery list. So then everybody can stay updated. So when you go to order the groceries or you go grocery shopping, you can just look at it and see what everybody needs. So you can have more than one other person on it. Put your whole family on it. That way, if they need a certain food or toothpaste, you can just go through the phone and they can keep it updated on what they're needing. So when it's time to go to the grocery store shopping, you're not like calling five people saying, what do you need? What do you need? or it's not a list that's at home and you're at the store. So I feel like that's what always happens, but it is so helpful if you have like a scattered brain or maybe you have 50 things going on. I also do like my to-do list on here. So you can do it the night before. You can make it look so cute. Like my daughter makes hers so cute and fancy. It does not have to be fancy. It can be basic. If you want fancy, go for it. You can clear it out every day and start over. But if you're not using that app and you feel like you're a little scattered or brain? Do you feel like you write notes down? I'm a huge pen and pad girl, so I get it, but those stay on my desk and in my house. I need something that when I'm gone and I don't have it, it's right here on my phone. And I can tell you since I've started using that app, life has gotten so much easier. I have another like hack for the phone. So if you follow me over on Instagram, um, I showed you guys how I'm designing our spaces in our house. I'll do a few pop-ups right here. And people are asking how I do that. It is so basic, so simple. It's just knowing just a few features, a few hacks on your phone, if you will. Um, so if you wanna see how I do that, definitely stay till the end of the video because it may take a little bit longer to talk about. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next hack. It's starting to sleep pretty bad here in Oklahoma. We were gonna go grab lunch, but since it's getting bad, we're gonna stay. But since we're talking hacks, I just wanted to show you real fast. If you ever pull up to a gas station and you can't remember which side your like gas tank is on and you're trying to pull up to the pump, or say you're in a rental or a friend's car, or maybe your car's new, if you look where your gas gauge is, there's always a little pump. Um, I'll try to show a picture too so you guys can see it up closer. But there is like a triangle arrow on one side that is the side your pump is on so mine's on the left since that arrow is on the left if my gas tank was on the right that arrow would be on the right side so that's just a little life hack right there and just so you believe me i'm out so this is my driver's side so this is the left side of the car and there's my gas tank so i always thought that was cool ever since i learned that it's just nice when you're in other people's car or if like you're driving your husband's car and you don't know what side it's on, it's just helpful so you don't have to keep getting in and out. Now we are back in the kitchen. The rest of the video is more like home hacks and less like life hacks. Um, but the next one involves popcorn. This is one that I have not tested out. We're gonna test it out together. So let's go pop this and see if it works. popcorn has been popped. 
What I'm told is this little gap right here when it comes out of the microwave is there so you can shake it. It gets all like the kernels that didn't pop and then you dump the rest of the bag into a bowl so you don't have to worry about getting those when you're eating the popcorn. So let's test it out and see if it works. So as I started shaking this, the first thing that came through was like a piece of popcorn. So I didn't think it was going to work, but the more I shake it, the popcorn, like the popcorn kernels are falling through. So it takes a little bit because typically they're like at the bottom and you're trying to get them to shake all the way down, but it is working. So next time you have popcorn, if you don't like those, try this hack and see if it works for you. This next hack I feel like is really cool if you travel a lot and you're in hotels, especially if you have like kids or babies and you have like baby bottles. I feel like if you go camping a lot, this is great. So let me show you the products you're gonna need and then how to use it. You're gonna need a Dawn or some type of soap that you use on your dishes, a paper towel, and a Ziploc bag. So you're going to take that napkin and then you're gonna take your soap and squeeze it out onto it and then let it soak in and dry and then we're gonna put it in the bag and then say you're in a hotel room and you need to wash something like baby bottles, anything that you need to clean. I will be putting this in our dance bag because I can't tell you how many times I need to clean something and you don't have what you need. Then you can just use a sink anywhere you are and you can just get this wet, scrub it and you'll get it all like sudsy and then you can wash whatever you need to. what it looks like keep in mind this is so thin you could do as many of these that you think you're gonna need just so you have extra because that's not gonna take up any room in a bag So this next hack, I learned about it. I want to say like on Pinterest or something. I can't really test it out for you. Of course, last week we like changed out all of our batteries, like things that weren't working and I forgot to save a bad battery. But basically if you have a battery and you're trying to tell if it's good or bad and you can't tell if it's the battery or the toy or the remote, basically if you drop it and it doesn't really bounce, it's good. If it bounces for a little bit, then it is going bad. So just keep that in mind. I can show you what this one does, like a good one so you can see what it looks like, but I have scoured my house for something with a bad battery in and the one time I need a bad battery, all of mine are fresh, but I will show you just what the good battery looks like. Like I was saying, this is a good battery and watch when I drop it. It like dies right there, which means it's good. If it kept bouncing, um, then it would be a bad one. But just see how it just like, it almost feels heavy and it ends. That is a good battery. So if you have like a remote that's not working or a toy and the battery bounces like that, it means it's the device, not to the battery. My grandma taught me this next hack and I've done it as long as I can remember. She must have taught me when I was really young. But basically, if you're gonna be heating up bread like in the microwave, if you heat it up, it can get really tough and then it's hard to eat. All you have to do is put a cup of water like in a glass container. I typically use like a measuring cup and I just fill it up to a cup. If you put that in the microwave with the piece of bread, say it's a roll, say it's a biscuit, whatever it is, it's going to prevent it from getting like tough and chewy. Oh, 
up next is a trash bag solution <laughs> so i feel like during my hacks i always have like a trash bag trash can something with a hack i feel like we all need help with trash bags we leave ours out in the garage because i really couldn't find a spot for it like in the house i will say just a small little tip like whenever i'm putting a trash bag in i try to put one or two in the bottom of the trash before i put the liner in so when someone takes out the trash, there's already one waiting on them, but you're gonna eventually run out. <laughs> and so I found a few different things you probably already have in your house. I know I have them in mine that will help you store these. And then maybe you can keep them inside your house somewhere underneath the sink, in a pantry, in a closet, just something like that. The hack that I see the most is like um, a paper towel roll. And the reason I've never done it is mine looks so wide, but keep in mind there are different sizes. So I noticed this one was a lot smaller. So I'm gonna test it on both to see if it works. But if it does and you have one in your house or if you're going shopping, just keep in mind like how wide the actual bar is to know if the um, paper towels are actually gonna slide on it. So I think it's safe to say that this one is a fail. <laughs> Maybe it's just the bags I get. I grab mine from like Sam's Club, so you can test yours, but I feel like they just roll them really tight. But this is as thin as mine can get. So this isn't gonna work, but I have one other hack to try out and I think it's gonna work a lot better. Now for the next container, it's like these just clear bins. Mine's from Home Edit, Walmart. Now I'm stuck working with this until I'm done, but I think it's still gonna work and what I like about this one is you can probably fit more than one roll in so let's hope we have better luck. Okay guys, after further testing, I feel like this one's a fail too, because once I pull it out, it's not like starting the next one for me. Like I can pull it through here, but then when I pull it out, it's really hard to do this one handed. Let me put my camera down so you guys can see. Like when I pull this out, like I can hold it and pull it, it doesn't automatically pull out the next one, kind of like a Kleenex. I think I was expecting the Kleenex effect, so I don't know if it was me, it's just easier to leave the roll somewhere. But if you're needing a system, this would keep it cleaner if you have it like out in the garage. But for me, it's another fail. We are not going to end on two fails. <laughs> so I'm glad we talked about doing another phone hack. So you guys always ask me like, where are you getting that app from? How much does it cost? What is it called? It is literally Instagram. I'm using Instagram to make those like vision boards, I think is the best way to describe them. And you can do it for clothing. You can do it for vision boards. I just do it for room inspo. And so I'm taking pictures of pieces I have, pieces that I'm wanting to buy online. And I'm just trying to see like, does the room look complete? Do I need something else? Do they clash? So you're just gonna click on your Instagram app and then you're gonna click on a photo. Mine happens to be one of trash bags so I can share it with you guys later. And then you just click draw and white and if you hold it down, it's going to make the whole screen white. So I like to just start with a plain white background. If you have a picture of a white screen, you can just insert that there as well or you can do any color. Say you want black, say you want blue, maybe you're gonna choose the color of your walls. You can use that as your back screen. And then I just swipe up and out of it. Then you can go over into your photos. And what's really cool if you have the new update on your, your phone, say you have a photo, like there's the picture, can you guys see that, of the chair in my room. This is a picture in my room. If you take your finger and hold it down, it scans it and you hit copy. Now you're gonna swipe out of that and go back to Instagram and you're going to tap on it. And once it shows, oh yeah, you gotta be over here like you're gonna be doing a message, like you're gonna write something. You tap on that and click paste and there is the chair. I know it's really hard with the lighting. 
So now I can put the chair in my bedroom on that screen. Now, if I want to use a plant, a tree, you can do that with any photo. So just screenshot it on your phone, hold it down, copy it, and then paste it into your Instagram story. And then when you're done, you can use these three little dots right here and click save. And you can put like, I like to label them. I'll put our master bedroom or the living room. So that way when I'm going through later and I'm like, hey, I love that piece. I don't know if it's gonna work. I can go to my photos and be like, here's everything I'm putting in my office. That either looks good or it doesn't. So that's all I'm doing. I hope that helps a little bit. I'll be sure and like, hopefully I did an overlay right there so you can see me actually doing it. But super easy, it takes a little bit of time because you're like toggling back and forth from like copying a picture and then moving it over into your Instagram story, but it's free and it's easy to do. So that's how I do it. <laughs> Okay guys, and that is a wrap. I hope these were helpful. I hope they were fun to watch. I hope you learned something. Definitely comment down below, which is your favorite hack, what's something you've been using that I missed, and maybe I'll put it in my next video. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.